All right, so one of the questions I get asked a lot about the control box is, can you use it to control the map? And before, the answer would be no. But however, now I have a way to do that with a new version that's going to be available um, well, right now while you're watching this. If you're interested in it, you can try it out. Um, you'll have to set some of it up manually, but we'll show you how to do that here. But the next version that gets fully released will have it already built in. So if you want to wait, you can. If you don't want to wait, you don't have to. But as long as you got any rocks or control box, you'll be good to go with the new mouse mode. So let's switch over to the computer and I'll get this set up and we'll show you how to do it. All right. So I have the software set up here. Now what I do file and I called it map control, but you can also call it mouse control. But for me, I'm using it for the map and call it whatever you want really, but map or mouse control. And inside of that one, what I did was, is I clicked on aim right and I did select preset and I chose mouse right and then hit assign. And I do that for aim left, club up and club down. I make those mouse up, mouse down. And for inner drop, we're gonna make that a left mouse click, but we're gonna make it a real time key left mouse click. So we're gonna make sure we have that selected, left click and hit assign. All right, so now we can switch back to GS Pro. Now I'm going to get rid of this screen and we'll move over to the other screen. Screen now, we're in GS Pro and I'm just gonna click in the middle of the screen for GS Pro and I'm gonna hit aim left on the box and you'll see it moves this left just like it's supposed to, right? But let's say I wanna see how far it is to all that water that's on the right side of the screen. So what I can do is I hit map, which is the button I set to switch the profile. So I hit map, switch the profile out, and now I can control the mouse and I can just move it over. And then when I get to the spot I want, I can move it down. Whoops, that's not down, that's left, down. And let's say I wanna see how far it is to right there. All I gotta do is hit enter drop and it's gonna click that spot. It's also gonna move you and aim you in the direction that you wanna go, but that's how it works. So if I was to do it with a mouse, I'd do the same thing, but let's say I wanna come over to here and click that, and then I can hit map again to get out of the mouse or map mode. Now I'm gonna hit a ball into that water out there. All right. Barely hit it in the water, but I got it in the water. So now you can also set up your box to do the toggle function where you can choose any of these spots that you want, like forward, drop, back, options, mulligan, or whatever, and you can take up a whole button for that. But however, now, if I just hit it in map or mouse mode, I can control my arrows to go up there and Right now my resolution's set really, really high, so that's why it's moving a little bit slower. But this is in 4K, basically. If I lower the resolution, it'll move faster. But um, once I get it to where I want it to, I can choose whatever I want to do. So if I want to choose a mulligan, I can hit mulligan. Basically, you can turn your box into a mouse. So from the hitting area now, if I move over here, I can play. And let's say I want to aim left. Good, aiming left. I hit this ball, it's gonna go in the water again on purpose. But now I'm in the water, so I'm gonna to switch to map mode and let's control this and just go mulligan, but I'm gonna keep it in map mode and let's move over and see how far it is to carry that bunker right there. About 204 yards. So let me go get my 204 yard club. I pulled it. How far did it go? I don't know, 105 left. So how far? That went 226. Either way, point being is now you can go back and forth in and out of map control or mouse control, whatever you want to call it. And uh, you can see how far whatever is. So that's the new update for the Rockstar Control Box. If you have any other questions, contact me. I'll show you how to install that right now. We'll go straight into that because it's, it's not a little bit different than the old way, but 
It's not considered an update due to some of the functions that's in there. So let's do that right now. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna close out my Rockstar Golf software and I'm gonna go ahead and type in here and find the Rockstar Golf software in your computer and you're gonna wanna hit uninstall. And I guess while that's doing its thing, we can go to the internet here and we can pull up new file and or new window and we can go to rockstargolf.com slash software. And for some reason that is super zoomed in on my screen. Let's back that out. Okay, and down under here, you're gonna see this beta version with mouse mode. We are gonna click on beta version with mouse mode. It's gonna download the software. Okay, once that gets done downloading, gonna go ahead and click on the folder in your downloads. Open it up, you're gonna choose the little package down here. It's probably the second one from the bottom. Looks like a little cardboard box. I'm gonna click on it. It's going to install. And then it'll automatically open. Now, you'll have to do any of the settings that you had before. So if you had anything set up before, you will have to change it. But hopefully, I can't imagine too many people had a bunch of things changed or need to change anything. So um, starting from scratch in this version, if you want to wait, you can. There'll be a new version come out where you won't have to do this over again if you have major changes. But the average person shouldn't take more than a minute and you should be good to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this box up to match mine, which is the white with green buttons. Choose apply changes. So now I have my GS Pro already set up, ready to go. I can play GS Pro right now and be good to go. However, I am going to take my map button and we're gonna switch it to a new profile. But before I do that, I need to make the new profile. So I'm gonna choose create. We're gonna call this mouse slash map mode. Hit confirm. Now I'm gonna start with uh, this enter drop button down here and we're gonna choose select preset, click real time key, left click, assign. My aim right, I'm going to choose mouse right, assign. Aim left, mouse left, assign. I'm sure you're getting the pattern here. Club down, mouse down, assign, club up, mouse up, assign. And then I'm gonna choose map, and I'm going to choose select preset. And I'm gonna choose profile swap, and we're gonna choose to switch this to GS Pro. Okay, so we got the map selected to move to GS Pro, but now we're going to go back into GS Pro and choose the same button to switch to profile swap, mouse mode, assign. And once you get your mouse cursor back into GS Pro, we can go back right into using the box, just like normal, aim right, aim left, mulligans, all that stuff will work. Now we can hit the map button and what that will do will automatically switch into map and mouse control mode that we just made. So now we're controlling the mouse with the arrows. And all we gotta do is hold it down to where get wherever we want to which like I said, I'm running this in a super high setting. So this is running a little bit slower. And once we get to where we want it, all we gotta do is hit our enter drop or select button, which is now our left mouse click. And then we can do whatever we want from here. We can control pretty much the entire game at this point. And when you're done with it, just click map mode again. And now you're back into your aiming and all your normal box functions. So that's how that works. If you have any questions, shoot me a text or an email and you should be good to go. So we'll get you taken care of. If you had a problem with anything, you can't figure it out, let me know. If you wanna wait for the next version to come out, that'll have all this preset in there, you can. But as you can see, it took me maybe 30 seconds to set that up. So that's how that works. Hope you enjoy it. Hope it makes everybody's game a little bit faster. And uh, that should cover everything in the software now. So 